Hey guys, welcome to the tutorial by Hello Studios. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this image into a heads-up display, like you see in Iron Man. So I got this from uh, Wikipedia, and uh, here's the image. It's really, really big, and that's really good. So uh, today we're also going to be using uh, Unmolt, no, no Light Factory Unmolt. You can download it from Mac or Windows from uh, RedGiantSoftware.com. I'll include a link in the video description below. Okay. <coughs> Let's head into After Effects and start creating this thing. So here we have our image, and it's pretty big. So I'm just going to drop it into a new comp here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tint it. So we'll go to Color Correction Tint, and now we've got it tinted. And then we're going to go to Effect Null Unmolt. Now we have basically the world map with transparency. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to pre-comp this and move all attributes in a new comp and I'll call this earth uh, not 3d cc sphere we'll drop that on there what we want to do is we want to uh, first of all bump up the size so let's just turn that up here we have a pretty big image looks looks okay right now but uh, let's just bump up the ambient light a little bit, we we'll turn off the background so we can actually see uh, turn up the ambient a little bit more, I like the ambient up about up a lot you guys can choose what you how you want to do it so we have a specular here, if you're familiar with 3D you'll understand that uh, metal, roughness, reflective um, you can do internal shadows which will just uh, turn on the shadows on the inside and transparency fall off which uh, I don't like as much. So now we have this earth here and uh, yeah. I'd also like to say thanks to Andrew Kramer for and Dan Eberts from uh, Creative Cal and Video Copilot uh, for the idea of making the earth 3D. Um, so what we're gonna do here is actually make this earth respond to a 3D camera. And so let's create a new camera here. We'll use a 35 millimeter. Okay. And we need a switch on the tabs. You can hit F four or toggle switches down here uh, and what you want to do is you want to make the earth 3D so now it's going to respond to this camera well not yet but we're working on that so the first thing we need to do is alt click on all three of these to add an expression and uh, alt option click and the first expression is look at this comp dot active camera dot position comma position zero and that's going to say essentially look at the camera for the position values and uh, the zero here represents X. The next thing we're going to copy is the second one, which is the same thing except it looks at it for Y. So that's good. And the third one looks at it for Z. Okay. Now we run into a small problem here. Uh, we can rotate around. Oops. Got to reset this. but it looks flat. So the way, the workaround for this um, oops, is to go uh, to transform, auto orient, orient towards camera, and then you hit OK. And this way, it, no matter what happens, it will always orient towards the camera. And now you can see we have a 3D Earth responding to a 3D camera. Pretty cool stuff. Um, what's really neat about this is the fact that you can take this and apply it to a motion track scene and uh, a match moved scene uh, so you track it in PF track or something like that Buju, uh, and then you have a camera from that data from the tracking data and it will actually respond to the tracking data which means that it will as the camera moves it'll it'll move like it was in the scene which is pretty cool alright guys that's gonna do it thanks for watching